welcome back guys so this is question number 12 of our book in which we are asked to convert each decimal fraction to binary using the sum of weights method okay so if you recall previously we have converted our decimal numbers to the binary numbers uh, by using the sum of weights method but here this question is different from that of the previous one because it contains the decimal number which is mentioned here okay so in order to solve these type of questions here what we have to do so if you recall again so previously what we have done we had the power of twos which were the multiplicative factors with our binary numbers and what we had to do we had started it from zero then one then two okay and up to some power of 8 okay so these were basically the power of 2s which were the multiplicative factors and um, if we had any number in decimal we have to select any of these power of 2s by multiplying them with 1 or zeros okay so um, the overall procedure were mentioned in that question and the link of that video is now i am attaching with this video okay similarly what happens if we have the decimal point here so in that case i will have the binary point in my binary numbers here so in order to do it what we will do we will uh, again use the power of twos but now the power of twos will start from minus one then minus two minus three up to the higher term uh, until and uh, unless i want to find out the corrected uh, version of my fractional binary number okay uh, so this was basically the introduction and we can very easily see that if this is basically the zero point so here this is now if these are the numbers so here the powers will start from one two three four up to infinity while here the powers will be from minus one minus two minus three up to the infinity okay uh, so here in order to do it what we have to do we are going to solve our questions as we have solved our previous uh, questions so here what we have to do we have to start it from the binary point then to the power minus one to the power minus two to the power minus three okay to the power minus four two to the power minus five 2 raised to the power minus 6 okay so these are basically the powers of 2 so let me calculate them so 2 to the power minus 1 is 0 0.5 okay so let me call it 0 0.5 this is 0 0.25 okay this is 0 0.125 this is 0 0.0625 okay this is now 0 0.0312 and this one is okay this one is how much this is 0 0.0156 156 okay so what we have to do again the same procedure will be followed here uh, suppose if we have a number which is now let me have here part a and in part a what we have to find out we have here the 0 0.2 Two six in decimal number okay and we have to find the equivalent binary number so what it would be so first of all let me select the highest possible number uh, which I can select from here so uh, let me start from here so it cannot be 0 0.5 because 0 0.26 is lower than 0.5 so let me make it 0 okay so multiplicative factor of 0 0.5 will be 0 similarly uh, with 0 0.25 yes it can be included because 0 0.26 is greater than this so let me include it so how much is now left if i subtract 0 uh, 0.25 from this 0 0.26 how much is left that would be 0 0.01 so therefore this is now 0 because 0 0.15 is how much that is now greater than what if i 0 0.26 subtracted uh, from it this 0 0.25 okay so i will have 0 
zero one. Okay, so I have to select this so that if it will be added with zero point two five, I will get zero point two six. So therefore, this number is greater than zero point zero one. So it is not included. Similarly, this is not included. And similarly, it is as well. So this one is the only possibility which I can include here. So this can be included here. Okay. So now uh, I will get these numbers. So this is basically the binary number here. So let me use it. So it will be zero point zero one triple zero. One okay, so that is the binary number. Okay, so how it would be calculated again using the same procedure which we had previously used. So it these two will be multiplied together. Okay, these two will be multiplied together. So here I will get zero, here point two five, here zero as well, zero zero, and here zero point. Zero one five six. So these will be added at the end, and you will see that their summation will be almost equal to zero point two six five six. Okay, uh, because this is almost. If I want to get the correct answer up to the required number of decimal points, I have to move it to the higher number of binary numbers. So now I am stopping it here. So there. It is now almost equivalent to the 0.26. Okay, so that's why I have calculated this number, and this is the procedure I can use to find the binary number from the decimal fraction number. Okay, so this is part A of my question. Okay, uh, similarly, in order to solve the part B of my question, this is 0.762. So let me 0.762. So this is now here. 0.762 in decimal, and the binary equivalent of it will be. Let me remove it from here. So now, uh, let me see that if I had what was that number? So 0.762. So 0.5 can be included here. This is lower than 0.762, so it can also be included here. Okay, so I will get 0.5. Five here. Okay, so what is the next procedure here? I have to subtract this zero point five from zero point seven six two. So zero point five is here. So I will get zero point two six two. Okay, so now I have to see that whether the next number is greater than this one or lower than this. So it is lower than this one. So let me include it as well. Okay, so when it is included, let me subtract it from. This number so zero point two five so it will be zero point zero one two okay so now this is zero point zero one two and I have to select the next number which is now uh, which should be uh, smaller than or equal to this one okay so this is not the smaller or equal to this one so that's why I'll make it zero uh, this is also the same case. This is the same case. While this one is almost equal to this one, so therefore I am going to select it. Okay, so that's why this is now the binary number. And when the same procedure will be applied here, like uh, multiplying uh, the lower terms with the higher terms here, and then adding them together. Okay, what I will get? I will almost get the number which is mentioned here. So now, okay. So now let me. Remove it, okay. And the number which I have got here is basically one one double triple zero one, okay. So that is my binary number, okay. So that is as this is one one triple zero one. So I'll also have to write this binary point with it as well, okay. So in if I you want to make it more concise, so include this zero with it. As well, okay. So that is the binary equivalent of 0.762. This is uh, part B. Similarly, now in order to solve this, uh, what I have to do? Let me solve it here as well. So here you will see that this is 0.0975. So let me use a blue color for it. So what I have to select? Let me solve it on the fly. So this will be included, and with it we can very easily see that. This one with 
also be included because adding them together I will almost get the 0 0.09 okay and I am getting this point from these two digits. So, therefore, it will be how much these uh, two will be 0 0 this will be 1 1 okay. So, I will get how much this number will be 0 0.0975 this is part c 0 0.0975 in decimal it will be equal to 0 0.00011 in binary number ok. Uh, so, that is it for today in which we have seen that how to calculate or convert each decimal fraction to binary using the sum of weights method. Although this is one of the lengthiest and uh, very complex method, but it is mostly used by the practitioners who are fluent or uh, has practiced binary to decimal or decimal to binary conversions frequently. Okay, So, that is why we have also discussed this method as well and uh, from the next uh, lecture we are going to talk about the division method for converting our decimal number to the binary ones. Okay? So, that is it for today. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.